Hello everyone, this is Ogi here. And uh, today I am going to show you the way this type of uh, machines sorter. This is a Mercal. This is one of those induction uh, Curie effect machines, uh, soldering uh, irons that uh, work in a, in a principle that uh, is pretty awesome. And uh, so what I'm going to do with this uh, video is show you how they are how different they are to the normal ones. A lot of people are buying them because, you know, I told a few friends to get them and they came back and they were like, wow, it's amazing, and this and that. So anyway, so they are, they work with these cartridges, you know, like this. And uh, this is, for instance, ones to, that you can use for to solder um, full chips, you know, so it hits all the chips. And it has like a very fine and stuff like that. And then you have this, for instance, is one of those are, that are used for the batteries, you know, for uh, massive uh, things, all right? Uh, today, we're gonna use this one, which is a very fine tip, mostly because I wanna see show you guys that even though it's a tiny little, little bitty tip, uh, the way these things deliver power, make it possible for that, uh, tip to uh, provide enough heat to melt the stuff on um, on the uh, um, what's it, uh, one of these uh, connectors right uh, let me get the the solder that I forgot all right I use uh, the um, Kester is a brand that um, is like the top of the line solder out there. And uh, they are typically 6337 or 6040 ratios, you know. And uh, what, uh, we're gonna use this one with thicker, all right, and I put it in okay so uh, first of all we're gonna do that on this uh, um, type of, uh, of wires all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off okay okay now one thing that you need to learn about this uh, type of uh, of uh, units let me show you here because you can see see how this side here is the one that has an angle that is because most people use it uh they try to put these things this way and that's very difficult so the way you do it is better if you go from the back so for instance right here this one is negative so i'm going to put it here negative all right and what you do is you put it like this okay and you work on this and then uh, once it's soldered in place you pull this out okay you actually in, uh, in put this one it's all done where is it yeah it's all done okay and then you slide this out and put it there now for this to work you need to have a good soldering iron and you simply um, take some of this off, okay? And the first thing, let's do this using this so you guys can see the process of what's going on, okay? So what you want to do is use something like this. This is a quick, quick chip, chip quick, I'm sorry, uh, solder flux, you know, no clean tack flux. This one is the SMD 4300 TF10, okay? This one is uh, water soluble, so it's easy to clean with water. So what you do is you put a little bit here, okay, on the tip, and a little bit here, okay, on all that. Because you want to thin this uh, this wire, and we want to we want to uh, make sure that we get a little bit, only a little bit of solder in between the the the, the front, you know, in, the, in between the wires. 
to get them all together, but you don't want this to grow inside. You don't want it to wick inside because then it makes a section, a long section of this too long and makes it uh, easy to fracture with a vibration, okay? So, uh, so for this one, we're gonna use a, the one that I showed you before, let me clean the tip, okay? That. Okay, so this is uh, the the tip, okay? And let me show you how this works. So I put a little bit like this, okay? Okay, dokie. Oh, I don't know if you noticed that it's instant, right? The way this thing works is in instantaneous heating. So that's it. That's all you need to do to, to thin, to thin this, uh, this wire. That's all. That's it. Uh, the reason why this thing works so well is because of the type of technology these things have. Uh, they are not, they don't, this is actually a coaxial cable, like, uh, and the connector is exactly like the cable TV type that goes to your TV and or cable box, the connector in there, because this one works with RF. It doesn't work with the DC and the way that works. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it works with induction, with high frequency induction that is applied to that element. And the element keeps on heating until it hits the uh, temperature. And the temperature is, is, is chosen by the color or the type of uh, cartridge that you use, right? This one here is the one that you should use. This is only for very high temperature solder, uh, non, non, uh, no lead solders. There's certain temperatures, th there's certain solders that, that in the professional, um, Basis area that we use for certain applications that require very high melting temperatures for some compliance with some military standards. But this is a normal one. You know, the yellow one is the one that you want. And uh, as you saw, the one that I use right now, the one that I just used on this, is also a yellow type. Uh, so it's 700 uh, degrees of uh, Fahrenheit, 700 Fahrenheit. So that's what you have to do. So as you see, it's, it's fully and it's pretty simple okay now uh, to show you the other thing the other side of this story I'm going to show you now how something so small let me uh, hold on, let me thin the, the tip of this one because I have not this particular one I have not used so as you can see here see how the the, the section that is hot is very small in a very thin tip but because of the way this works, even though something like this normally you would never expect to heat this easily, look at this, you know, very, very small. And I'm going to touch it and instantaneously, see that? There is no waiting, there's no, it, it works, it's like magic. See how easy it was? Even though it's a tiny, itty, little, bitty, you know, look at the thing, the tip of that thing is so thin. This is a thick wire, look at that, thick, um, soldering wire solder and uh it was look at that touch it that's it you touch it inst instantly there is no time between touching this thing it become liquid that is the difference between this type of soldering irons and the regular ones you don't need to wait and when you turn it off to turn it on i'm sorry it heats up in seven seconds you know that's all the time it takes and now as you can see right I'm going to use and look at what what I what I can do, right? So now we have. Okay, let me uh, before we do that, let me get a piece of paper so I don't burn if something falls in there. All right, so okay. Okay, so let's now go and, uh, and solder this. I added a little bit of solder to that and I touch it and it's already liquid. Okay, so we're gonna get this introduced exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, put right there. I'm gonna get some extra excess out of there. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So, Let's uh, cool it a little bit. 
go to here too. Okay. Another way you insert it there is very simple. Take this, all right? Move it forward. Add one of these, uh, what is the mail? Let me see, where is that? Here. This one, the mail. Put it in there as a way to apply pressure. Then you put uh, a plier here. And then use this type of plier. And then very carefully, there you go. That's it. That's all you needed to do. Now it's all the way in. And you have it. See? So let's do this other one again. So you see how easy it is to work with this. This this soldering irons are just it, it they're just a blessing. There's no no way to describe that any other way. It's just the best thing under the sun. You know, when it comes to soldering. Okay, so this is why, see, this could have been a, made a, a hole in here. So the, we take this one, right? Let's thin it. Okay, remember, put some on the top so that it wicks inside, and then some on the outside. Oops, there. I'm gonna leave it here. In the back a little bit too. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna take this and uh, sort of like that. And don't forget, this thing is so fast. So make sure that you don't make it wick inside too too deep because it will create fractures, you know? Okay, that should be enough. As you can see, there is no no need to, to, to fight it. It's just immediately hits and and it's just it's a it's it's just amazing so it's, it's a blessing all right this one here and again just to show you how powerful these things are i'm going to use again the little one just to to show you okay so this is the little tip you know and look at how easy the thing melts look at that <laughs> this is insane see how easy so it's all melted nice all right so now we do is we make it okay so here this way we're gonna put this one through okay this one here okay all the way up and we're gonna solder it in there so what I do is I take <coughs> some of the solder put it in here so I have a way to transfer the heat okay oops So now they go inside there, okay. That's it. Take, see how that, that excess was in the in the bottom? You wanna pull that out there so it doesn't interfere with the sliding into place. Okay. I'm pulling it down with this, some damp uh, sponge, soldering sponge. That's it. So we go like this, okay. Put it like that and take the mail, put it here. Oops. Mail here. Uh, this one you want to put here. And this one, and then you go carefully pushing it down because it's only one click that you need. Might be over. No, I need a. A bit more there you go there it is and that's it that's all you need to do and then you pull this one out and you're good see so easy five that are actually everybody has problems with them the trick is to use the easy five that are for use like this one that you put first this one inside and then you bring it down like that and that's simple so that's the way you do it and that's how easy it is to solder with those uh, those machines. And uh, yeah, I guess that, that's it. That's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click the, the also the subscribe button and the bell, so you get um, 
you get uh, notifications that there's a new video. All right, bye-bye.